Really, Brenda? Now is not the time. Is it ever? They're in there waiting for my announcement. In an hour and a half. You want to tell me why, Frank? It's strictly business. I'm sure you understand. You want to look me in the eye and tell me the truth? <laughs> Unofficially, Anderson's bringing in a bunch of his super loyal yes-men. You look great, by the way. When you hired me, you told me you needed people who were allowed to think. Yeah, well, that's the difference between me and Anderson, isn't it? Get ready. Your old friend, Walter Smith. Who's Walter Smith? Yeah, he's my first arrest at the NSA. What does he mean, get ready? He's in prison. Frank, a Walter Smith has escaped. I'll track his phone. No, that won't do any good. He's an IT wizard. You, you've heard of him. He's Walter Smith. He's the only guy that was ever convicted of helping Edward Snowden. He sent me a link. Do you have a computer? This is my daughter. How can you tell? You can hardly see her face. That's the bonnet Sarah's mother bought for her. I call the police. No, no, we'll wait, wait, keep it in. I say, I'm gonna call the babysitter. I, I have Deputy General Frank Kovac for you. Pick up the phone. Give me assistance. Yes, pick up the phone. I have an operative Zoe Messina. Uh, yeah, Zoe. Yes, sir. Um, listen, we, we just received a threat that my daughter might have been kidnapped. I need you to send somebody over to her babysitter's address right now. Excuse me? It's 22 Emory Road. That's close, but, but why? I, all, all right, sit tight. I'll send someone over immediately. You send every man and woman you got, you hear me? I, I'm not sure I can do that, sir. I'm ordering you to. Will do, sir. This time I'll break all his bones. Should you call Sarah? Just, just wait until we know what we're doing. It's another link. Go. Angry? Already? 
Ready? I wonder how you'll be in an hour. Please. My baby's innocent. My baby was innocent too. But are you? Listen. The dog you can... That dog doesn't spy on people. It doesn't read their mails. It doesn't tap their phones. It doesn't invade their homes. What do you want? Total obedience to begin with. Isn't that what you ask of all your loyal people? What do you want? I'm not joking. There is a cell phone hidden in that kennel. And that dog will attack your daughter when it hears the ringtone followed by my voice. All I have to do is make the call. You psychopath. Did you just call me psychopath, Mr. Kovac? That's not a good start. Shall I make that phone call? No! Just tell me what you want. You gathered a lot of information illegally. I've never done anything illegal. Whatever you think of the Patriot Act, I acted within the boundaries of my authority. You spy on anybody you like to spy on. Absolutely not. Prove it. <laughs> Mr. Kovac, that's exactly what I intend to do. You're going to send all files that were obtained with a dragnet. That is everything without an official warrant designating it. What are you talking about? All of the files you call SSD Division 1. No such thing exists. No, it does. I want the entire thing uploaded right now. You want me to call the dog? Okay, okay, look. If the network did exist, it would be so much data, it would make Edward Snowden look like a petty thief. And that's why I've designed a program especially for you. Wait for my email. Send me the program. One more thing. Stay exactly where you are right now, Mr. Kovac. Or I will call your daughter. What do you want me to do? Stay, please. I need your help. Well, we obviously can't send him anything. It's my daughter, Brenda. It's also the potential of lives of thousands. Innocent operatives. Not to mention the privacy of you. Me. And everybody who's ever worked with the NSA. Zoe. We're at the address, Frank, but there's no trace of the babysitter or your daughter. Have you looked everywhere? We could check the neighborhood. Yes, check everywhere. Look all over the neighborhood. Look at the houses, the basements, the yards, whatever you have to do. She's in a kennel with a dog. A dog kennel? Zoe, this is Officer Hoffman. We need a background check on anybody associated with the Walter Alexander Smith, a fugitive from Clinton Correctional Facility. Yeah, and check any known sympathizers of Edward Snowden and the pro-privacy movement. Listen, I'm going to send you a list of every single person in the entire state of Virginia who's ever typed the words Edward Snowden into a search engine. You got it? Copy that. Okay. We'll find her, Frank. Frank. Run. You need to be careful how we act here. If you get caught, that is your job. Yes, but I will still have a daughter. Excuse me. What are you doing? I'm downloading his program. Let me see the email addresses. How does it feel? What? You're going to be a million times more famous than Edward Snowden. Everybody in the entire world will know who you are. Your email is Russian. The enemies of our enemies are our friends, Mr. Kovac. Who are you working for? Ah, is that Sarah? How are you? Why are you doing this? I'll ask the questions. Now start downloading.
Frank. Frank. Frank, I can't stand here and watch you do this. If you send those files, you may kill innocent families. We don't know that for sure. We know to understand the risk, that's enough. She'll be eaten alive, Bren. It's my daughter, Bren. What would you do? If that was your daughter, what would you do? Help me. All right, then you may need to go ahead and fire me. Because as NSA, I can't knowingly participate no, in this. No, 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 listen to me. You have to trust me. I promise you that whatever happens, I will protect you. How could you possibly say that? Because I've done it before. What? In what cases, when? Look, just thank you. Okay? Thank you for everything. Don't worry. But I am worried, and you should be too. You can't possibly send him any of the- No, 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 I'm never gonna do that. Listen, I'm not gonna send anything classified. There's gonna be so much information in those files, he's never gonna notice. doesn't feel right. Yeah, well, killing a baby isn't right. Besides, Anderson will immediately send out a team to arrest me when I begin the download. They'll swarm in here in no time. It's a class A safety procedure. As soon as the network is accessed, an alert goes straight to Anderson's office. You'll see it and I'll be taken into custody. There will be nothing Walter can blame me for. We will have followed his direction perfectly and the data will be secure. Okay. This is it. Now we wait. It doesn't feel right. You will get used to it. What is that supposed to mean? It's real easy to stand on the side of the river and criticize things as they go by. It takes courage to jump in the water and get wet. You've done a lot of simulations, Frank. Yeah, those are all theoretical simulations. Those aren't real life and death tests. You ever seen real action, Brenda, huh? You ever had to make a life and death decision? Frank. Mr. Kovac, you must really take me for a moron. All this rubbish? That's all I got access to. Very well. Where's my daughter? Do you want to know if your daughter is safe? Yes. Okay, I'll call her. No. Okay, look, I'll send you more files. Not more files, Mr. Kovac. Every file. And don't try to be smart again. I know exactly which files you have access to. If there's anything missing, that dog will have a nice, sweet meal. Why is he doing this, Frank? What, what making the second man in the NSA the new Edward Snowden? Really? He knows so much about you. Is it personal? Could it be some kind of prank? I'm not taking any chances. Not with Elizabeth. Just don't worry, Bren. I'll never get to send a lot of files before Anderson blocks my access. Shit. What? Incorrect password. Well, that's a good sign, right? That means Anderson's blocking your access. Yeah, but who changed the password? Frank, are those your passwords? Do you keep your passwords in a card on your wallet? Come on. Come on. Look. Give me accepted. Yes. Jesus, this guy is good. Look how fast this program downloads. And even at that speed, it's still going to take 147 hours to complete the upload. There's no way Anderson won't be here by then. Do you think he had help? Of course he had help. There's no way the guy could escape that place. No, I mean help from inside the NSA. Another Edward Snowden inside the NSA. There's no way. You know our security since Snowden. Yeah. Zoe. A police officer just found a baby in a dog cage outside of a house in Richmond. It belongs to Daniel Smith, Walter Smith's second cousin. Where's my daughter? I think I see your daughter, Frank. She's in the dog kennel. Shoot the dog. That's an order. Frank. 
We're setting up the shot now, Frank. Be careful. Zoe, what the hell was that? Zoe! I don't know. What happened? Something exploded. There's fire everywhere. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew you would find my cousin's house, who, by the way, just rented it to a young couple with a baby. Did you barge in again with too many men? I guess a police you bullet must have hit the explosion. You killed my baby. She's still alive, but not thanks to you. As you can see, I am much better at this game than you are. Do you really want to test me further? My access to the file still isn't blocked. What's keeping them so long? Do you think we're being watched? I don't know. They're way too organized. Who's they? Walter Smith and whoever he's working for. He had to have some inside help. Maybe somebody unhappy with your upcoming announcement? I'm calling Anderson. Stella, hi. It's Frank Kovac. Is Anderson in? What? He called in sick today. So? I've known the guy for 15 years. He's never called in sick. Today of all days? I don't know, Frank. Coincidences can happen. Not like this they don't happen. Walter Smith escapes. They haven't blocked my access yet. Maybe it has something to do with the reorganization. That's not it. Listen. I talked to my buddy, Congressman Timothy Miller, the other day, and he had mentioned something about the possibility of Anderson being replaced as the head of NSA for someone a little more patriotic. Frank, what does that mean, more patriotic, Frank? Tim. Hey, bud, it's Kovac. Yeah, he needs to give me a call back. Something is definitely not right. Frank, I think we need to stop sending the files. Zoe. Yes, sir. Have you found my daughter yet? No, but we have confirmed that there was no baby in the fire. We've got every man in Arlington County on the job. We'll find her, Frank. Frank, another link. say plays the people, right, Mr. Kovac? You want to beat the NSA, Walter? Good luck. Well, now it's time for the people to play the NSA. Do you know where Edward Snowden went wrong? He failed to share his information in an attractive way. He didn't have a brilliant marketing plan. What are you talking about? I have a little camera here, so you can follow me. See what I do. Exciting, isn't it? Where am I? Yeah, where are you? Tick, tick, tick. Remember, that dog gets more and more hungry each minute. Don't let him get so hungry that I can't control him anymore. Where is he going? What is his game? I don't know. Well, you must know something. He picked you. I was one of two dozen people that took him down. I have no idea. I mean, is it some kind of revenge? Does he blame you personally for something? Me? No. What's that box? Has that package always been here? I don't know. I'll get it, Frank. It must pass security. Frank, think of why this is happening. There must be something.
attacked my wife. Lomax Garage. What did you do to my wife? You admitted you were at the Lomax Garage last year, September 17th. I don't remember the date. They fixed my car. I work in the area at a subway station. I'm gonna... for maintenance. They're going to come get it soon. Uh, listen, uh, Brenda, um, listen, um, could you do me a favor and get me a coffee? I, I, I can't leave here. Yeah. Thank you. joke, Mr. Smith. You're insane! Where is your warrant? You, you have all this security footage, and, and you draw insane conclusions. You can't even see who I'm talking to on most of this stuff. Look, I don't know Edward Snowden! But you do admit that you sympathize with him, right? Just because you hack security cameras on which we see Edwin Snowden, it doesn't mean that everybody in the recording over the next 24 hours is guilty. He got his car fixed at Lomax Garage. He, he, he shows up months later at, at a Starbucks. Big deal. What did you do to my wife? She'll be fine. What did you do to my wife? She'll be fine. Where is she? She'll be fine. What did you do to my wife? Frank. Let's find another room. Served. The taxi. He's in New York. Zoe, the bastard's in New York City. He must have left Elizabeth somewhere between Fort Meade and New York. Listen, I'm going to send you something on every single Snowden sympathizer in the tri state area. You got it? I need way more help then, Frank. I mean, that spans hundreds of counties. Yeah, you'll get it. Listen, the NSA is going to be calling you in a few minutes. You, you, you hang in there, okay? You'll get everything you need. Roger. Okay. I mean, maybe they can recognize him by the camera on his shoe. Yeah, he's too intelligent. Is that Murray Hill? No, I lived in Murray Hill. I'll get the NYPD. Yeah. Listen, I want them ready as soon as we know more, okay? Think, Frank. Why is Smith doing this to you? Well, I have a feeling we'll find out soon enough. He's going into a subway station. Oh, that's great. Subway stations are loaded with security cameras. We request access to their feed. Hi, this is Brenda Hoffman, NSA. We need assistance in a foot pursuit in what looks like Manhattan. 
Ja, so gut. Look, this is probably bad timing, but can I ask you something? What? What's going on with you and Anderson? Excuse me? Look, look, don't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just asking you what's going on with you guys. Did you track no, my... I absolutely did not spy on you or breach your privacy. I'm just... I know you were in his office. How? Look, I get all the security reports of the people going in and out of the offices here. Like, I know who goes in and out and when and where. And just Not in the bathrooms, I hope. No, I just... Look, I, I know you were in his office in the evening. So what, Frank? If you don't want to tell me you were hacking his computer, fine. Computer. Wait, look, look, come here, come here. Flower show. It's Lexington and Union Square. Are you sure? Do you have the NYPD yet? No, I'm still on hold. But it looks like the Metropolitan subway system's down. 20 minutes now. Jesus, he's good. I, hi, Commissioner Cohen. I have Deputy General Frank Kovac, NSA, on the line. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Listen, uh, we have a fugitive, Walter Smith. I already sent him the face. Yes, we're processing what we know about Smith right now. Listen, this Smith is at Union Square getting on a northbound 6 train. He's extremely dangerous. We're dealing with an NTSA code red. NTSA code red? Why? Why? Because I just ordered you to do so. NTSA code red. Can you confirm, please? NTSA code red confirmed. When you get him, make sure he doesn't make a phone call. It's a matter of life and death. Roger that, sir. NTSA code red means a terrorist attack, Frank. So? So we haven't even confirmed if the threat is real. Frank, you can end this right now. Think about your history. What do you know about him? Where could he be going? 23 hours and 50 minutes. 10 minutes ago, the countdown was 147 hours. What is this? Listen, I'm sorry. For what? It was none of my business, you and Anderson. Don't worry about it, Frank. He wasn't even in his office. Yeah? Right, oh, it does say good. He's on the platform. Check everyone on the platforms. He's waiting on a platform. This is Brenda Hoffman, NSA. I have an NTSA code red in operation. We need all traffic on the Lexington Avenue subway line shut down immediately. I understand the implications, but it is a direct order from Frank Kovac. And if one more train takes off from the station, it will be your job. Thank you. Thank you. Did you learn that in the simulations? Let's get going. Commissioner Cohen? I'm here. Listen, he's on a platform. He can't get away. The next trains won't take off. Roger that. My men are almost there. The doors are opening. He really thinks he's leaving. Well, I, th I thought it was... The train won't take off, Frank. It won't take off. What's going on? Damn it, he assured me that the train wouldn't take off. This is Brenda Hoffman. I want to know exactly what happened on the 456. What is this? What happened? Crank, my men arrived at the platform. They're checking everyone. His train just took off! No, sir. No train took off. M MTA confirms that no train took off on the 456. He's messing with my head! Frank! 
calm down, okay? It just must be the wrong subway station. No, the flower shop at the entry, I know it. No, he filmed it at an angle in order to trick us. No, oh, you can't fool me. Look, two hours and 16 minutes to download. What's going on here? Frank, we're on the internet. What? 10,000 views already. The Lexington Avenue police sweep. There's a video in a post titled NYPD ridiculed by civil rights activists. Dirty secrets about the NSA to come. NSA top guy fooled. More NSA foolishness to come. This is his marketing plan. It's gonna have a lot of people look at the video and then reveal our secrets. Oh my God. It's going fast, almost 15,000 views. Yeah, Edward Snowden had the data, but he couldn't get everything out because he didn't have a plan. Guys, we think we may have a trace on this phone. No, no, uh-uh. If he left a trace, it's because he wants to distract us, win time, or confuse us from what he really wants. Oh my God, Frank. Smith. We can't, Frank. You gotta calm down, okay? I know it's personal, but that's all the more reason to stay professional. Think, Frank. Why is he doing this to you? All right. All right. Smith's on a moving train. We gotta stop every moving train. Frank. In New York? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Not about my daughter, I'm not. Frank, even if we were able to do that, by the time it was done, he would be out on the streets again. Calm down, Frank. Think. Look. Where are you, you psychopath? What are you doing? What are you really doing? Absolutely not. I heard a noise come from it. A noise? Oh, there's music coming from my personal phone. Sorry. The job makes me paranoid. No, it's fine. Paranoia comes with the territory. You check everything twice before you draw conclusions, right? Excuse me, sirs. We traced his cell phone. We know where Smith is at right now. He's in Brooklyn. No. Can't be. Well, he is at the Fulton Street subway station. I've sent a lot of men over there. They're closing in on him. So I guess you should be expecting a new video now, right? I don't know, Frank. That could be Fulton, couldn't it? No. Smith can't be this stupid. Okay, we're gonna arrest him now. Make sure he doesn't use his phone. Roger that. He's running. Get him. Did you get him? Just a second. My men are with him now. Mm -hmm. Way too easy. I don't know. He was running. Didn't you just say check everything twice before you draw conclusions? Frank, I'm sorry, but this is not Walter Smith. His driver's license, my men checked it. Arrest him anyway. Why? Why? Because I just ordered you to. Frank, he's innocent. You need to calm down. Cohen, did you just hear me? I did. Roger that. I don't get it. I don't get it either, but this cannot be a coincidence, can it?
What? <laughs> All right, you took a moron and paid him to run off. It's difficult to win when you can't cheat like your NSA, isn't it? I have a question. Don't expect an answer. Oh, quoting the NSA now, are we? All right, well then, uh, if your friend was innocent, how did he know when to run? Mr. Kovac, two can play that game. You bugged my phone. Frank, how could he have bugged your phone? I don't know, but he did. Well, think, who have you been in contact with? Nobody. I'm shutting down my phone now, Mr. Smith. I'm taking out the battery. See? Give me my private number. Son of a bitch! Now you know how it feels, Mr. Kovac. And for the record, every time we speak, I'm using a different cell phone. So you don't need to try to track me down that way again. We don't like to make the same joke twice. Who is we? Hey there. If you're not Sarah, then you must be Frank's trusted right hand. Brenda, right? How did you do it? So Brenda is in the game, too. Interesting. Welcome, Brenda. No, leave her out of this. You bought her in, Frank. We can't change the rules. How did you do it? Frank, you need to listen to this. Arrest him anyway. Why? Why? Because I just ordered you to. Frank, he's innocent. You need to calm Cohen, down. Cohen, did you just hear me? I did. Roger that. Arrest him anyway. Why? Why? Because I just ordered you And there's text. Is this the NSA? This country wants more to come. Arrest him anyway. Why? Tell him the views, Brenda. It's going quick. What do you want, Smith? Why don't you tell me, Mr. Kovac? That's your job. You have so much illegally obtained data to work with. God damn it, just tell me what you want! You sound pretty desperate, Mr. Kovac. I guess you both need a little more help. Look at the screen. You think you could eavesdrop any other way? Here? Absolutely not. Is that attached to his knee? Give me Cohen. Yeah. Hi. Commissioner Cohen, I have Kovac again. Thank you, sir. Listen. Smith is entering a subway station again. I want all your men to check anyone wearing the pants with knee pockets. Really? Uh, or a camera attached to his knee or close to it. You're kidding, right? L listen, I, I wish I was. But if anyone protests, arrest them. Don't let anyone go. In which subway station? Every subway station. Frank. Look, I don't think that we're allowed to just go in there and arrest anybody we want to. Listen, this is the Director General of the NSA. I'm giving you a direct order. Cohen, please confirm. Yes. Roger that. You didn't think about that, did you, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Zoe, make me happy, please. I'm afraid I can't. That's all I've got. We're still checking on some leads, Frank. Okay. Thank you. So call me back if you find out anything. Frank. Got it. Frank, look at the upload. It's going so fast, I think we have to stop it. No. No. I want Elizabeth to live. Then stop it temporarily. Do you understand what's at stake here? Frank! Do you understand what's at stake here? Do you really want to be the next Snowden? 
No, I love my country. That's exactly what Snowden said. Then what do you want me to do? I need you to stop it temporarily. I can't! I can't stop it! Frank. I, I, I can't, okay? Sir, all my available men are checking anyone wearing pants with knee pockets or a camera attached to their knee. And I'm telling you, people don't react well at all. I'm getting more arrests than I am information. Jesus Christ, Frank. We're at 62,000 views already. Cohen, he's running. I think it's Union Station. You need to get him. Get him right now, okay? He's running, guys. Just a second, I'll be right back. Listen, we now have two men with those kind of pants running at two different subway stations. You got two men running? Yes, right now, two men. We're checking everywhere. No, he's still running. Don't let him make a phone call. my birthday? No, it's not. Not my fault. Sir. Yes. We arrested one of those two men. Only one of them? Look, don't let him make any phone calls. You ask him where my daughter is, and if he doesn't tell you, you beat it out of him. What? You heard me. I heard you, but I'm going to pretend I didn't. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. It's not him, sir. What about the second runner? He got away, sir. I'm sorry. Frank, you need to call for help. Well, it's not like I can call Anderson. He's sick. Then call somebody else. You can't make this decision alone. Yes, actually. I can't. Frank, this is insane. It's too much responsibility for one person. I have Anderson's private number. Call it. Do it! Yeah, this is Frank Kovac. Is Mr. Anderson in, please? Sorry to hear about that. food poisoning or something. It's a bunch of bullshit. Yes? This will be huge on the internet. Police officers checking all those civilians with knee pockets. Isn't that discrimination of people with knee pockets? Oh, listen to this. If he doesn't tell you, keep beating it up. If he doesn't tell you, keep beating it up. If he doesn't tell you, keep beating it up. If he doesn't tell you, keep beating it up. Cohen's phone is bugged too. I'll get him on my private line. You should read the comments on the internet. People call us freedom fighters. Americans who love their country, Mr. Kovac. Shit. You still don't get it, do you? And your time is running out. So you need more help. I'm helping you, Mr. Kovac. Look at the screen. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. I have time. Cohen, listen, he's wearing a police officer's uniform. Confirm the identity of every police officer. Look, I don't think I can ask my men to do that. This is a direct order, Cohen. You gonna refuse a direct order from the NSA? No, sir. Then do it. Right now. Frank, the internet is exploding. 
And do you want to know how many views we're at? No. Let me think. Listen, um, I, I want the names of the people who were fighting the NSA in the last five years. You want that including the ones about to be replaced? Yeah, how would they know where they're going to be replaced? Because it's the NSA, right? People know things they're not supposed to know. Just give me the names. I'll call Tim. NSA, yeah, please connect me to Congressman Miller. Where's Elizabeth? Where's Elizabeth? Is she... I mean, I don't know. I... The dog couldn't have swallowed her whole. Yeah, but... I don't know, maybe he pushed her out of frame. When was the last time you looked? I don't know, a couple minutes ago. Wait. Could you be in New York? Is he going to her right now? Frank, is that 50th Street? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that is. Okay, look. Cohen! Cohen! He's at 50th Street, subway station in 6th Avenue. It's the northbound platform. I'm positive this time. Roger that. We got people everywhere, sir. I'll send them right yes. away. Get him! Cohen! One of your guys is talking to him on the north platform. You tell him to be very careful. Confiscate his phone immediately. Roger that, sir. Cohen, Smith is fighting with the officer. Stop him! Kill him if you have to! Fuck. Smith's on the 6th uptown train at 77. Tell me you have someone on that train. Cohen, I want you to tell me you have a man on that train. And if he sees Smith, I want you to shoot him. Sorry, sir, we don't. The next stop is 86th Street. Do you have men over there on 86th Street? The train will arrive in exactly 40 seconds. No, too soon. But we may arrive in time for the next exit, 103rd. I'll get my men over no, there. No, 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 you'll see he'll get out at the next exit. You'll see this. Come on, stay on the train. Stay on the train, please. Frank, I have Zoe for you. He's gonna get out. Oh, Frank is always on the phone. I knew it. He's staying. We got him. Oh, we got him. Smith's still on the train. Go and Smith's still on the train. Great. We'll swarm him at 103rd Street. Great. How's the countdown? It's going fast. Frank, Zoe wants you. Zoe. Frank, what's happening? Where are you? The internet is exploding. Y yeah, I know that. Did you find Elizabeth? Yes, she's in Trenton, New Jersey, <laughs> a residential house with a secluded backyard. Uh, okay, is, is there an exact address? 65 Apple Street on the west side. 65 Apple Street. You know it? It, it sounds vaguely familiar. Is she alive? Is she okay? I, I think so. <laughs> they heard her crying. So look, hold on. I'm going to get to the local commander on the line. Okay. Here, I have Commander Garcia in Trenton. This is Garcia. Garcia, listen, whatever you do, don't shoot that dog, okay? Smith might have hidden explosives. We know, sir. We have the neighborhood evacuated. The drug trainer will be here with us shortly. We'll get your daughter out of the dog counter, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how long till the train hits 103rd? About two minutes and 15 seconds. No, no. No, I, I, I don't like that. It's too long. Cohen. Yes, sir. Tell me your men are at 103rd Street. Yes, we're here waiting for Smith. Great. Okay. We'll get the bastard now. We have the area surrounded. What else can we do for you? <laughs> Nothing. That's, everything's great. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And, and listen, I'm, I'm sorry for my behavior, okay? No problem. I got two little kids at home, sir. <laughs> Frank, we're at two minutes. It's Walter. Keep
Keep them on the phone so we can stall them when they have one minute, 30 seconds. Walter, um, how are you talking to us right now? Are you on a satellite phone? Does it matter, Mr. Kovac? You're not trying to stall me, are you? Why would I do that, Walter? You tell me. 30 seconds. How does your phone work on the subway? I'm getting bored of all this talking. Where are my files, Mr. Kovac? I'm getting really in the mood to feed that dog. Make off. What kind of off? Anything. Her one minute, 40 seconds. Um, Walter, I would like to make you an offer. Really? What is the offer? What do you want? What about Brenda? What, what, what about her? Will Brenda do anything? Yes. Yes, yes, she will. I'll get back to you. Cohen, are your men at the platform? Yes, sir. We have the whole area surrounded. Arrest everyone on that train, Cohen. Everyone. I can't do that, sir. It's a direct order. Frank, think of the internet. I don't care. You arrest everyone on that goddamn train, you hear me? Roger that. Christ, we're close to a million views already. Cohen, do not let him make a phone call. Roger that, sir. We're at 30 seconds. Garcia. Yes, sir. How did we find that last address? It's the old house of Walter Smith, sir. That's it. That's it. I know where he's going. I know where he's going. He's going to the place where I arrested him. 20. We're at nine seconds. Frank. Shouldn't the train be slowing down? Why is the train not slowing down, Cohen? We're here, sir. The train is slowing down. We can hear it. No, it's not. I'm watching it right now. It's stopping, sir. Frank. We're at zero. What, what's, what's, what's happening? Damn it. What's happening? I think we're not seeing it right. I can't take this anymore. What's going on? I mean, does Walter have any connection to the subway? Yes. Yes, actually, uh, if I remember right, he said he used to work for them or something. He altered the surveillance feed somehow. If anyone could do it, it would be Walter Smith. That's what sure. happened. Shit. What? Cohen! 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 Where are you going? I'll get him on the line. His phone is dead. Shit. What? There's a delay. He's way ahead of us. What do you mean? He's transferring it through a router and creating a delay. So he was way ahead of us all the time. Fuck. Garcia, can you see the dog? Not yet, sir. I'm with the dog handler now. We're heading over. Hurry up, please. We've got the property evacuated. Our canine specialist is crossing the street to the backyard now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you touch my baby. God. Frank, are you okay? <laughs> Never better. Thanks. We need to figure out who's helping Walter. We need to figure out if there's a bomb. Could you please just get me the warden of the prison that Walter Smith sent? Please. Sir, it's Garcia. What happened? Sir, the dog handler heard about the explosion. 
We can't get him to approach the house. We have to wait for the bomb squad, okay? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. God damn it! I understand. Cohen, where were you? Back on my private line. Look, I'm sorry, sir. He's not on the train. We arrested all the passengers, but people are getting really angry. Can I let them go? Is there anyone who can't verify their identity? Uh, we have a few tourists that don't speak English. Just hold them. Sir, people are getting angry. They want an explanation. They're filming on their cell phones, and, and we, we can't control it. I mean, we'll have the media down here soon. Just check them again. That's an order, Cohen. Roger that. How many minutes do we have? Jesus Christ, only 14 minutes to download. Frank, you gotta think, why is Smith doing this to you? Frank? Yeah, there is something. Frank, what is it? This stays between us. This can never get out. I promise you, tell me. my word. We have 14 minutes until he doesn't care about Elizabeth anymore. You have to tell me. Well, uh, in case you ever wondered how I got this job in the first place, Timothy. It really was all just a coincidence. Congressman Miller? Yeah. You'll learn that the NSA doesn't believe in coincidence. Hey, but listen, um, the, the hospital just called and uh, his wife, she lost their baby. And it yeah. is because of me. It's, uh, Placed me here. I can't even on one help. condition. What are you talking about? Well, I got carried away. I mean, it was my first arrest. And, I swarmed into his house with half a dozen men. Unnecessary force. His wife, she, uh, she fell from the stairs. It's my fault. Accidents happen at arrests, Frank. You never know who the terrorist is. Yeah, but I knew he wasn't. I sent in 25 men to arrest him when I could have done it with two. Stop blaming yourself. It's not your fault. Listen, uh, I, I know that you brought me into the NSA, and uh, for that, I really do appreciate it more than you possibly could ever know, but I just, I, I just don't think that I'm cut out for this kind of work. I really don't. What would you say if I'd make you deputy director of the NSA, Frank? I can't make it happen. What? I just need complete loyalty. And as number two, you could do great things in the future. Frank, you love your country, don't you? Think about it. We need people who we can trust. And I trust you. Now, how long do we go back? Think about it. You wanna get married next week? You'll make 30K a month. If you turn this down, you deprive Sarah of a real nice life, Frank. Now listen, first, you've got to help me here. I really need you to convict this Walter Smith. That's the warden. John Rooney. Take it. Mr. Roney, this is Frank Kovac, NSA. We need your help. Frank Kovac, I see on the media you do. How can I help? I need a list of anyone who ever visited Walter Alexander Smith, and I need it right away. You should talk to his lawyer. I'm afraid this is a matter of life and death, sir. Sir, you still need to talk to his lawyer. Mr. Roney, you have children? 
No, sir. I haven't had the pleasure. Well, imagine that you had a child, and that child has been kidnapped. And the only thing that's going to keep that child alive is a complete list of anyone who ever visited Walter Smith in prison. You understand? Still, you should talk to his mom. Listen, mom. John. Can I say John? Well, I don't know you. Okay, Mr. Roney, listen, we're here trying to help you find him, but you are obstructing justice. Find who? Walter Smith. Walter Alexander Smith. Yeah, that's him. What about him? What about him? He's in New York right now. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. Absolutely not. He is here. Walter Alexander Smith, you're positive. I can see him right now on one of my monitors. So Walter Smith has not escaped? I'm sorry, sir. Somebody tricked the internet. Walter Smith is lying in our infirmary. Are you sure? What happened? Nothing. But I'm sure his lawyer will tell you that Walter Smith attempted suicide again. Thank you, Mr. Rowan. I don't get it. Get uh, Ashley and Dave SSD. I need a complete list of uh, all the visitors of Walter Smith. They're going to know what to do. And if there's anyone listening to me, I don't care. Frank. I love my country, but I love my baby even more. And if you don't like that, fuck you! Frank, it's Walter. Are you gonna get it? No, that's not Walter. Walter Smith is in prison right where I put him. Oh, fuck him! Frank, are you gonna get the call or not? Who is this? I know you're not Walter Smith. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter, does it? What matters is that I'm sure I will find your name on Walter Smith's visitors list. And I'm sure we can find you on the last days in the security cameras around Walter Smith's old house. So we've got you. Whatever happens, we've got you. And I'm sure the dog is getting more and more hungry. Does your offer still stand? Who are you? I'll tell you if you accept my final proposition. We do not negotiate. Goodbye then. Wait. Wait. Is this really your final proposition? And then Elizabeth goes free. And then Elizabeth is free. Quid pro quo. How do I know that for sure? You have to trust me. Trust you? What do you want? I want Brenda to carefully open the box I sent you. Go on. Which is... You know, Frank. 
No, I don't. Think, Frank. What would you like to do with Brenda? Just say it. You suggested it a couple of times during the last promotion period. Well, come on. What, what is it you're talking about? What is it that I would like to do with Brenda? Fuck her in the ass. How did... No. No. No way. Well then, say goodbye to Elizabeth. Wait! Listen, <laughs> there must be something else. I can't think of any other visualization than that of the soon-to-be director of the NSA to fuck America in her ass. Is, is there a camera somewhere? You tell me. The NSA always desire, denies that they use secret cameras. Well, they check here every morning, so there's no way. Brenda, how many more minutes? Seven. Close the blinds. Shouldn't you ask her permission first? Oh, no, of course, I forgot. You never ask permission. Come on, Brenda, let's just give this pervert what he wants, okay? And let's save Elizabeth. What does he mean, the soon-to-be director of the NSA, Frank? So it was your reorganization plan. Not Anderson, not Miller, it was you. Is that what your announcement was about? Firing all the concerned NSA workers? There's one condition, Smith. No cameras, no photos. And no sound recording. Your phone goes off. You just have to trust us. Can I trust you, Frank? In this, you can. And even if you take a picture, I will deny it anyway. Everybody will believe it's photoshopped. I'll turn it all around. I've done it before. Four minutes. I want Elizabeth free in four minutes. Deal? We have a deal. Really? But I will see you later, whoever you are. I will hunt you, and I promise I will catch you. You will be sorry. You understand that? <laughs> Come on, brother. Let's get this over with. You've got to be kidding me. No, we'll just pretend. We won't do anything. I promise we'll just pretend. All right? Listen, just do this for me, okay? Please. Please. He can't check it. You don't know that for sure. You sweeped the room, right? Let's not play games with Elizabeth's life here, please. Please, if you help me, I will help you out. I will get you any job that you need inside the NSA, I promise. I've done it before. It's strictly business, come on. Frank.
This says we're live in Times Square. There's a camera in here. You placed it here to film me. And it's all on the internet, Frank. Everything you said. Edited, of course, the way the NSA does. And it shows you panicked. You used every means necessary, legal or illegal, to save your daughter. Without even checking the validity of the threat. You played me? I trusted you! Really? You violated my privacy, you made a pass at me during promotion time, and you were gonna fire me. All for your own personal gain. Is there, is there another camera? This is what we call a simulation, Frank. Everything in this room was real. Your behavior was real, the pressure was real. Only Walter was a fake. Him and Cohen and Garcia and Zoe, of course. It was all one voice, can you tell? This is entrapment. No, it was a test and you failed. What would have happened if we were at war, Frank? It shows you would have caved under any pressure at all. But you know, it was real. It was the uproar from the internet, Frank. It seems that you caused a revolution. It seems everybody's outraged by your brutal misuse of power. Anderson. You made him sick when you went into his office. Anderson was in on this, Frank. He found out about your reorganization plan, decided the NSA needed a public shakeup. We're chopping off our own head to get rid of you. Prove it. I don't need to. You'll find out soon enough. You talk about Edward Snowden, the man who brought the NSA to his knees. Well, we are all Snowden. We are everywhere. And we're not going to stand for your brutal misuse of power ever again. This is not the right way. You can't start a revolution with silk gloves. Are you quoting Joseph Stalin? I'm quoting somebody who actually managed to change an entire country. He was a brutal dictator! And what would you have been if you had actually managed to take over the NSA? Oh my god. Somebody may have posted your cell phone coordinates. I think they're here for you, Frank. I'd be careful if I were you. They violated your privacy. How does it feel? Sarah. Hi. No. No, 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 darling. No, that was not me. That was, no, no, honey. That was not me. Listen, listen to me. You gotta listen to me. Listen, they've kidnapped Elizabeth. Bother to check. Sarah picked up Elizabeth hours ago. She's been asleep in her bed. You bitch. This is a conspiracy. You falsified that video. What did you do to convict the innocent Walter Smith? So? I suffered for the greater good of decency, Frank, for the new NSA. But then it was strictly business, I'm sure you understand. What's that sound? It's the people. They want to talk to you. We'll never get their security. You mean the security you're about to fire? I went ahead and did it for you. Bye, Frank. Wait, where are you going? What am I supposed to do now? Welcome to the Snowden Club. <laughs>